Federico Macheda, a different type of wonder kid. Why, you may ask? Well, because he was basically known for scoring one goal. A title winning goal, you could say. But what actually happened to him? This is the downfall of the one goal wonder kid. Great turn by Macheda! Astonishing! Federico Macheda is an Italian striker who played for Serie A side the Lazio in the youth ranks before joining one of the biggest clubs in the world in Manchester United at the age of 16. Macheda joined the under-18s of Man United back in the 2007-08 season. He finished as top scorer in his first season, scoring 12 goals in 21 games. The Italian youngster signed his first professional contract with Manchester United on his 17th birthday in 2008. He stayed in the under-18 side at the start of the season, but played more and more in Manchester United's reserve team towards the end of the season. He even scored 8 goals in 8 games for the reserve side. But after scoring a hat-trick against Newcastle United's reserve side, Sir Alex Ferguson promised Macheda he would get a chance in the first team's match against Aston Villa. And this was the match that changed Macheda's life forever. Man United were first in the Premier League table of the 2008-09 season after 28 games. The Red Devils were leading with 68 points, followed by Chelsea and Liverpool on 58 points. Though the last two matches of Man United were scrappy 2-1 wins against against Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United. Their remarkable 14 clean sheets in a row now slowly turned into a slight problem, as the pressure rose on the players to not somehow screw up this 10-point lead. But it's fair to say the pressure got to them as they lost to Liverpool and Fulham in the next two matches. With Liverpool closing the gap to just 4 points and both teams having 8 games remaining, it looked like Liverpool could turn the tides very soon, with Manchester United all of a sudden in a form crisis. A team filled with stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Rooney, Berbatov, Giggs, Tevez, Vidic, Scholes and managed by Sir Alex Ferguson was suddenly under immense pressure to get their third Premier League title in a row. But next up was the match against Aston Villa, who were in a solid fifth position. As Liverpool got a 1-0 victory over Fulham a day before, the gap was down to one point and Manchester United stays at the top of the table looked numbered. After a mess-up from James Milner, Ronaldo scored the first goal from a free kick in the box. 15 minutes later, an Aston Villa striker John Carew scored the equaliser from a header. Aston Villa showed resistance and even came in front in the second half by a goal from Gabriel Agbonlaor. A few minutes later and on came the 17-year-old Macheda. Fair to say it was quite a gamble from Ferguson to let someone make his debut at that young age in such an important match. And roughly 20 minutes later, Man United went on the attack with Ronaldo eventually scoring his second of the match in the 80th minute. With the result being 2-0, it looked like the Red Devils were once again losing points in this 10th title race now to a team that lost 5 5-0 to Liverpool the week before. But Man United had one more chance. Gary Neville played a pass to Macheda, who couldn't quite get past his defender. The ball fell to Giggs, who passed it back to Macheda, who does an incredible turn and kills it beautifully into the goal. The 17-year-old Italian striker scored the winning goal for Manchester United in a much-needed win. This kept Manchester United's title hopes alive and saw them keep a 4 points difference from Liverpool. But this wasn't all from Macheda. Of course, there were still 7 more matches to be played, and the next opponent for Manchester United was Sunderland. When the score was 1-0, Macheda was once again subbed on, now in the 75th minute. Not even a minute later and Carrick tried a long shot which got reflected from Macheda who once again scored the winning goal for Manchester United. The 17 year old was living in a dream and had now scored back to back winning goals for Manchester United to keep them in first place in the Premier League and to keep a 4 point difference from Liverpool. Whilst the second goal from the Italian forward wasn't as close as sensational as the first one he scored against Aston Villa, it certainly helped Man United steer the team to their third Premier League title in a row and get a newfound momentum going which eventually helped them to lift the Premier League trophy. An of course incredible Manchester United squad with some of the best players in the world but they couldn't top Macheda's incredible fairy tale story scoring two match winning goals when they needed it most. Macheda played a few more matches for United in the last six rounds of the 2008-09 season but failed to score again. He was also left out of the squad in some of those matches as well. The 2009-10 season followed and Macheda got a few chances to show himself again in the League Cup and he even played in the Champions League against CSKA in Moscow and Besiktas. He unfortunately did fail to score in any of those matches though. And after his appearance in the fifth round of the League Cup in December, he signed a four-year contract at the club, which would make him a 
Manchester United player until 2014. Unfortunately though, Macedo got a few injuries at the end of 2009, which stopped him from playing his first Premier League match of the season until the end of March, when he replaced Giggs in the 84th minute. Another week later, Macedo came on as a substitute against Chelsea and he did actually manage to score a goal again. Unfortunately, it was just a consolation goal as United lost the game 2-1. Macedo got a couple more minutes towards the end of the season, but failed to score again. After a fairly disappointing previous season, Macedo wanted to show himself again in a 2010-11 season, but he unfortunately struggled to get a lot of minutes, sometimes having a slight injury to rule him out as well. He did however score his fourth goal for the club against Aston Villa in November and played 12 games for Man United in the first half of the season. But in January he got a loan move to Serie A side Sampdoria for half a season. Interestingly enough, Sir Alex Ferguson wanted Macheda to go out on loan to a Premier League club so he could keep an eye on the forward, but the striker wanted to play in Italy, in the Serie A. Macheda also later confirmed that he should have listened to Ferguson. I will regret that for all my life. He played 16 matches for the Italian side, scoring just once in the cup against Udinese. And in the next four seasons, Macheda went out on loan to QPR, Stuttgart, Doncaster Rovers and Birmingham City. The striker wasn't having much luck during these low periods, although he did score 10 goals in his half a season stint at Birmingham City. The 22 year old period at Manchester United came to an end though in the 2014 15 season. After failing to impress after his back to back winning goals, he permanently signed for Cardiff on a free transfer. During the pre season, Macheda unfortunately got injured and so missed the first 8 games of the season. The striker did manage to score in his debut when he returned from injury, but the back injury he got during pre-season, returned at the end of the season and so Macheda played just 25 games. He did manage to score a decent 8 goals for Cardiff though. Macheda had to get an operation and so almost missed the entirety of the first half of the 2015-16 season. And when he did return from injury, he barely got any chances. The new manager of Cardiff said he wasn't very impressed by the Italian and so Macheda went out on loan to Nottingham Forest where he made just 3 appearances. A return to Cardiff didn't happen for the Italian as the club paid up the final year of his contract in the summer of 2016. Macheda had no club for several months but joined Italian Serie B side Novara at the end of 2016. After a good first few months at the club, he went down the packing order at Novara in the next season, eventually ending up as a reserve player. His period at Novara ended in a bad way with a three game suspension and seeing the club get relegated to the Serie C. Macheda later joined Greek side Panathinaikos in the summer of 2018 on a free transfer. And this is where the Italian found his best form. In his four seasons at Panathinaikos, Macheda played 116 games, scoring 40 goals and giving 10 assists. His period at the club ended with another injury though, and so the 30-year-old joined Turkish side Ankara Gucu last summer on another free transfer. In Turkey, Macheda hasn't been able to hit the ground running yet. He's only scored one goal in 13 games so far this season. And not only was Macheda mostly struggling to get a good goal-scoring run going over the years, his attitude was often questioned as well. He even said himself he did the bare minimum at Manchester United, which led him to eventually play less and have to go out on loan. And whilst being a striker, he has received a total of 48 yellow cards since the start of his professional career, receiving a few red cards as well. Federico Macheda's last minute winner against Aston Villa was the first and really his last bit of magic he has shown the footballing world. A reoccurring back injury kept him on the sidelines during several periods. But Macheda also later said, when I was at United, I felt unbeaten but instead of working even harder, I kind of sat down a little bit. Maybe I should have had another mentality. The striker even said the following in 2019. It was a difficult time, you think about your life. You played Premier League, Champions League, you trained with big players. And then after 4 or 5 years, nobody wants to sign you. It's hard. A true shame to see someone who had such an amazing start of his professional career touring through Europe at lots of different clubs and not being able to even come close to his predicted potential. If you thought this football story was interesting, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to help me get to 17,000 subscribers. And I will see you at the next video.